Okay, I've got some starter highs, a little row of them here. And then I've got this little nuke here on the end that uh, is actually five frames from a trap out that I just pulled out of a tree. Oh, about four days ago. Five. Now, uh, they had her pretty well full. Did a real good job of trapping them out. I didn't, the bees did. I just set the box up. But uh, the little queen cell I put in there, she came out yeah, looking more like an emergency queen cell. They weren't very pronounced, didn't really uh, give me a lot of confidence as if it was going to be a big queen. And, and actually that's the way it turned out. They didn't turn out to be a very, she, she didn't turn out to be a very big queen. Nice little pretty dark queen. Certainly color is what I prefer. But um, evidently the bees aren't very happy with her either. Because they started a superseder with a wonderfully sized queen cell. So I'm going to try to get in here right at this moment and see if I can get a good look at that queen cell and show you what it looks like. Because uh, I know there's some folks that are still concerned about what a queen cell might look like, the new beekeepers and those that aren't beekeepers hear us talk about queen cells sometimes. I bet you they'd really like to know what a nice one looks like. Pull this out here real easy. Nice bright sunshiny day. She hasn't been laying over here on this one. I pulled the little queen out of here and put her in a nuke a little ways away. There's some capped honey along the top of the frame. A little bit of nectar, the shiny liquid in the cells. And they've got a little pollen there with they're putting a little bit of nectar on top of. Even though they come trapped out of a tree, haven't had any contact with humans for quite some time, they uh, seem to be pretty easy to get along with. If I can set this down in this box here without making too many of them mad. Starting to put some propolis. That little gooey stuff there is propolis. They're starting to put on the end of the frames. Stick things up, seal things together. It comes from tree resin, or tree sap. It's a resin that they make from the tree sap. Use it to seal up their hives. Highly antiseptic. It's excellent for used in uh, medicines even. There's a big old drone. Big old brown one. Uh, yeah. Now they're starting to fill this up with nectar. You can see the sparkles. A browner bee, not the kind that uh, we usually have. Ours are Russians, so they're a little darker. Another drone. A little larger eyes, a little larger blunt body compared to the worker right there beside it. They're the males. They just eat and breed, which sounds like a real good deal. And for the guys, until they find out that uh, they die when they breed, and then they get chased out in the winter here in Illinois because they don't want to. Workers don't want to waste their feed on those little lazy drones. So they're chased outside and they die. Now here's some cat brood left over from the other little queen that I pulled out of here. there in that cell right underneath the bees. Evidently going in to feed it. A little grub-like worm in there. One down here, another one. They're not far away from being capped. Their eggs for about three days and larvae for about four or five and then they're capped over in about 
three weeks after the eggs are laid, they hatch out in little workers. They look pretty much just like these. A little dusty looking, a little furrier, but doesn't take them long to get cleaned up and they take on their duties in the hive. And that's some more in there yet. But this is what I was really wanting to show you. On the other side of this frame, It's this beautiful looking queen cell. Let's see if I can get this set up here. Brace it up so I can scoot some of these bees off of here. Get a little better look at what's going on. There we go. That's a queen cell. Now it's close enough to the frame on the other side that runs along the side of this that they've started to attach it to the other side. So I I think when I put that back in there, I'll probably keep it a little farther apart. When it's time to hatch, the bottom will open up, they'll chew through it, and it'll open up like a little trap door. And she'll come out of there. The queens hatch earlier than the workers. They're fed raw jelly. Increases and promotes their growth, shortens their time of maturity. At the time the eggs laid, the time they hatch out, it's usually around 16 days. My plan was, with this hive, the starter hive, or this trap out hive, I was just going to set it here. When I saw they were going to replace the queen, obviously they weren't happy with her. I was just going to pinch her. They had just started this queen cell, I was just going to take the queen cell out, and I had another good queen that I'd taken out of another trap out that they needed the room. I took her out and left some eggs in it so they could make a new queen for themselves. Nice, beautiful queen. I was gonna put her in this. And I opened it up and they were done with this cell. And I just didn't have the heart to mash that cell. It was so pretty and so nice. A little late in the season, just the first of August. Later for what I'd like to let them go as, but she's still got time, they're still drones, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her go, and uh, there's some smaller larvae down in there in the bottom of those cells, and I'm uh, gonna try to make a nice queen out of her. I don't think there'll be any problem. Uh, she sure got a good start, and right in the bottom of those cells, a little tiny C in the bottom, a little, it looks like a U from this angle, a little bent. That's a real young larvae there. There's an egg. Right in the center of the picture, on the bottom of that cell, that's an egg. I just pulled the queen out of here just about two days ago, so another day or so they'll be hatching into those real young larvae. There'll be a little tiny C laying in a puddle of food in the bottom. And uh, then they'll continue to grow. By the time they're out, the queen should be out. And uh, possibly even bred by that time. And hopefully she'll be laying some new eggs. And we'll see what kind of queen she is. Hopefully she'll be a good one. And uh, my extra trouble and the risk I'm taking here from not building up a strong hive this late in the season will pay off. I guess that's just about it for this one. I just wanted you to get a good look at a queen cell. So, uh, that's it.